and we are back online. So the form check PHP is open and the mail process PHP is here where we are going to continue working with. So last thing we did is to check if the message which comprises all of uh, the submitted um, array keys and their values is arriving and is formatted. So this was true and I don't need my echo here anymore so I'm going to out comment it. So the objective actually was now to um, submit this message containing the submitted information onto another page rendering them and um, giving some user feedback. Now we have a um, general problem here. We want to submit a variable containing now a very complex string, the variable message, onto another page. And um, we are not able to do it like that because PHP does only kind of um, store variables in their own context. That means if I would leave the script and the page, I uh, cannot just take the variable message with me. In order to submit global variables now to another PHP script running on a different page, I need to make use of a so-called PHP session. I need to start a so-called session. This is a kind of, well, um, yeah, you will, you could probably call it a temporary cookie thing like. I would have to start a session with a name and then inside this session I can submit a variable to another script and the other page can take up the session and receive the values and then the second page would end up the PHP session after the values are received. This is also a um, security measure, of course, that variables you are using for submitting information are only traceable in their very own context. So instead of echoing the message now, we need to start a session. And uh, this has a very short command. I'm going to type here session underscore start. That would mean if there is any message, we are going to start a session. It's typed like this. And the related comment would be submitting a variable to another script via a PHP session. When we started a session, it should have a name it's traceable with. So in the next line of code here, I'm going to establish a global session variable. This is done by the well-known dollar sign. And you can already see the global session variable is already available here in the context menu. Dollar sign underscore session. And then you can see it demands the cornered brackets. In the cornered brackets, we are setting a session name for the current established PHP session. So I'm going to call this show it. No, not show it. Show it. It's a single quoted string. 
and then we can use this global session variable right away to put something inside our session and in our case this would be the whole variable message right like here and this will also get rid of all syntax errors now we started a session we assigned a name to the session we formatted it as a global variable here now this is the point where I would ask Morton but he left the session so we established a global uh, variable uh, here a session variable it has the name show it and it will contain our message as a string now that enables us now to contact a different script on a different location and this script would be able to receive anything within this session context. First of all we are going to redirect to a different page containing a different PHP script and there you will um, learn about another built-in function of PHP it's the so-called header this has nothing to do with um, a HTML header it is um, heading actually in the direction Andrea I just saw you click anything um, I can help you with what if what if I would like to assign more than one variables to a session well that is not a problem because you can also just send an array inside a session variable All right so then you need to 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 make uh, to make precautions to store everything what you would like to deliver appropriate so as an array or as a variable in this case we are just dealing with a string but this makes it also possible to deliver anything inside a global session variable the header is redirecting Louise shouldn't it be show it we have smaller cases in all the other variable names um, yeah okay um, this is probably more um, um, more appropriate to the names we have set before okay I give you that we just need to make sure that we are picking up the right session name on our page later on so header is always um, waiting for um, some arguments and the arguments of the header method is only the location we are heading to as a single quoted string so we type in location and then <coughs> sorry and then we uh, just would give a target path we make this a very um, a very simple target path we are storing the site not in a in a different directory or uh, and uh, on our uh, domain here that means we just can redirect to a page which will then be created right beside um, our main page form check PHP right you remember target paths need always to be calculated from the page where the script is embedded into since we are starting with form check and since we are requiring mail process here from wherever it comes we need to make any target path in mail process relative to our main document so we keep this plain and simple for uh, demonstration purposes and just say uh, well you are heading into the direction of a file thanks dot php and when we did so we can stop the whole script from running this is also a good PHP routine to um, end any process 
which is not needed anymore. We can do so by a simple exit. Exit terminates the current active script. We don't need this script anymore because the um, information is processed, a session is started and all information we need is stored in the global session variable. Now we should uh, actually also take care of uh, the case that um, something went wrong during delivery. delivery. Um, so I would like to make an else if condition here. An else if condition if the variable message does not exist. So if we weren't able to um, form, to establish any message, then do the following. It's also good for testing purposes later on with your script. If uh, the variable message does not exist, just print something like, for instance, double quoted string. Oops. Something went wrong. Please try again. So, just a fallback method here. So, I think this would be um, sufficient for the moment. So I'm going to save my mail process script and um, then we are going to actually create our thanks PHP. Let's try this. Um, inside the same folder, right? inside the folder forms, create a PHP HTML5 page template and call it thanks.php a new file making it an HTML5 template and creating it and then I can um, just save it inside my forms folder that means I make sure that it's directly placed beneath the form check.php and I call this thanks.php. So. Then as a title I'm going to assign I'm going to set Thank you for contacting us. It is a contact form we are dealing with here. If we want to um, receive anything from the script just before, first I make sure that everything is stored in the right place. Form check, mail process, thanks. Very good. So I don't expect any target path problems here. If we want to receive information from the former script, we need to um, take up the to pick up the session we created before, and we do this inside a PHP code block. Also on this script, we need first of all to start a session. Same command, session start. 
you need to do this on top of a script whenever you need a session. So it should always be the first thing which is initiated. Then we would try to receive the variable submitted from mail process dot PHP, right? The one here where we are setting a global variable called show it. So I'm actually copying the whole expression here so that I can use it here again. Spares me a bit of typing. And store it, I should add. So here I can look for the session show it we just created and I would be able to um, get anything which was submitted here by assigning it to a new variable by passing this variable on to a new variable. So I'm setting here a new variable and I'm calling this now uh, with an um, lowercase letter to please Louise form content so this should capture everything which was submitted by the global session variable in a new variable form ca uh, form content and I can use them later on here in my thanks.php you're welcome, Louise. Last thing for me to do now is to take care of that the session is properly terminated after um, I uh, would not need it anymore. And that is where you are um, calling the unset session method. So I'm going to unset the whole session show it. I'm copying it inside the brackets here. The content of the session has been delivered and stored in the variable form content so after this happened I wouldn't need it. I wouldn't need the session anymore so I take care of that it's unset here comment would be terminating the session after it's not needed anymore. So that means currently if everything was coded all right we were sending content from one page to another page, we stored it on this particular page and then we get rid of the session. Now we can work with the form content variable inside this page and we're going to render this out as a um, HTML information here. Andrea is just asking what is the difference between unset and exit. Unset is terminating a session and exit is terminating a whole script. That means if I'm calling exit here, everything is terminated. I wouldn't call exit here because then the script would be terminated and I wouldn't be able to work with the form content anymore. Um, I'm just unsetting the session, rendering it an invalid. So let's continue working with the body tag here and uh, well first of all I'm just inserting a simple headline like h1 with a big thank you. Thanks for contacting us.
and probably a paragraph. Your contact information has been sent. And then another headline. Well, it's not splendid design, but it's not design. What uh, is our current topic? You submitted the following. Well, and actually now we can try to render the form content. Of course, in a PHP code block. And we are going to echo it right away. So I will use the shortcut here for PHP echo. Echo the variable form content. Of course, no way to uh, test this thanks PHP inside live view because um, it relies on a session we need to start via a web browser and it uh, depends on information arriving. So once more, I'm going to check my form check PHP, the main file in a browser. Preview in Chrome. or in any other web browser. So this depends only on your um, web server, not on any browser. So it should work with any other browser as well. I'm going to submit everything here. A name. I need a name like Herbert the Hermit. Email is alone dot desert dot org. Well, Herbert the Her Hermit would never be a um, part of a commercial organization. And the comments is um, looking for some company to comfort me and water. I need water. Yeah, that is the moment where I take some water. Ah, ah, that was refreshing. Good. If anything, if everything um, was um, done well, then I should now submit the information. The, the mail process will process the information and submit it in a um, super global array to my thanks.php. Mm, well, always an exciting moment. Please contact us. This was great. Right? So, apparently I did very well. You submitted the following. Name Herbert the Hermit. Alone at desert.org. Looking for some company to comfort me and water. I need water. Great. Wasn't this a beauty? Yes or no? Yes, it was. It was. Um, let us, in a last step now, do something if one or all of the required fields are missing, right? So we are still, um, we have still not implemented a routine that does something if the required fields are not filled out. First of all, I'm trying to um, catch this in a very 
global message. So I just make the user aware of, please fill out the required fields. Meta, your comment still says that it's not submitted. The rest works fine. I checked for spelling errors and what not, but can't figure out where I've done something wrong. Okay. We can check your script then at uh, the classic classroom lessons we're having on Thursday, or you compare it to the uh, to the script I submitted. Now let us. Um, well, actually, I can just go ahead and. Um, No, I, I'm, I'm rather, I rather putting submitting the new files uh, when they are when they are ready. Because the missing part actually is uh, not a um, not a big coding um, challenge. If you go back to your form check PHP, our main file, and look for the form, right? Then we could output a message. Above the form, a general message, please out, please fill out the required fields or below. Um, above is probably not such a good idea because if the me message would uh, get rendered, the form would kind of um, um, hover a, uh, well, it would perform a line breaker, right? Because we are adding new content above the form. So I would um, actually prefer to output a general message below the form, then the layout at least stays as it is. And um, there I'm uh, there I'm going to uh, insert a PHP code block. And this PHP code block will only be triggered if an if condition is returning true and the if condition we are um, depending on here would be if yes and that is another loose end now if the variable missing does exist right you remember missing was missing was the array here where if something would be required but still is missing then the missing array would gain another key here so that means if anything is missing here right then cornered brackets. There's also a shorthand for this notation. Now this is getting a bit uh, a bit weird probably, but um, because we hadn't had the syntax, I have to arrange it actually a bit different. So it's actually like this. Um, it's just a different kind of PHP notation if I'm going to embed HTML elements right inside an if condition. And then I have um, to include another PHP code block here, which is closing the if condition brackets here. Right? So that is a different notation again for um, PHP. The advantage is that this renders everything invisible which I put inside here and it's only triggered if the if condition is true, returns true. And um, if I'm doing it in this quotation, I will be able to um, code HTML right away. For I could just insert a paragraph here and you will see that it appears in Dreamweaver now in the original HTML highlighted code. And uh, this could state, please fill out the required. And then 
we uh, mark required again with an asterisk. The HTML entity for the asterisk was ampersand hashtag 42 blank space fields so and um, that brings me back to the beginning when Louisa specifically asked for um, a uh, um, red colored um, alert addressing the user and this well I can now solve here with an inline style if I would do this right in a production environment I would of course have a P class warning for instance coming from an external style sheet and then taking up the f uh, the, the class formatation um, but now for reasons of um, page and code economy I'm just applying an inline style here so if we choose a color style here hashtag not the pound it's the hashtag C O O for instance that would uh, be some reddish color and that means this would um, render the alert message with red so let's test this in a browser again okay then this will, will proceed to the thank you page again so I need to load it again from Dreamweaver form check PHP with adaptions preview in Chrome there we are now um, we are just submitting a name Caesar and a comment Vinny Vidi Vici contact us I get a notice undefined variable message that's right but it's only notice so it does not do anything to the script but you can see here the red rendered message please fill out the required fields if I would like to get rid of this message then I need to set the variable message here to initialize it at least right because um, it does not contain anything but anyway we are going to um, to uh, format um, the user feedback in a bit different way and that will also take care of um, the notice the PHP notice we are receiving good I think I would like to spend five minutes now on the last remaining step on the um, on the script that would be like user as a specific message um, giving the user feedback on which um, on which field input is missing you can set in the label you can set in the label a class if missing yes you can So if you would like to format this uh, a bit more um, a bit more elegant. So in order how to get out user 
specific feedback or custom feedback connected to the email fields you um, would do the following I will demonstrate this on one field only and I think I, I uh, demonstrate this with um, <coughs> the name field because um, if you check the mail process PHP we actually got the name if anything is missing we also got the names of the um, affected keys and we have the variable ready as an empty string at least so we can work with it good so look for your input type text field name name actually I'm going to establish something right beneath the input right beneath the input type so also information which is only triggered if the name is not submitted there we would also establish a PHP if condition with the code block and then we are doing it exactly like uh, we did beneath with the general meth message we are setting an if condition and then we would open the if conditions brackets here and down below with another PHP code block we would just end it so that would be the general syntax now our if condition would be if the variable missing exists like below and at the same time if it's if a, sp the, a specific key is found in an array and the key name would be name and we have to look for name in the array missing right that is another beautiful connection now to our mail process.php so we are not only looking for the missing array we can also look for is the key name name <laughs> in the array missing so that would only be triggered this alert message if name is inside the missing array and this is done again above here in our mail process so if there is anything inside well um, we could output a message please enter your name your enemy and in order to format this also with a red color I could use the span class span as you probably recall for from uh, first semester is just a um, HTML tag which does not have any layout consequences is just re reserved if you would like to uh, format a specific element well most of the time it's used for this purpose purpose and then I can apply a style again just the color here so and at the same time I can delete 
the general message because now I have a specific message. Good. So, sounds logical, right? So, if there is a missing a key and in, in the same time if name is in the missing array, then print out the color, uh, then, then, then uh, kind of display the following information. Please enter your name. Let's try. So I'm not going to fill out the name, but I'm uh, filling out the email. Any mail at anywhere dot government comments I leave blank. Now, if I have a contact information, then you can see please enter your name is generated depending on information the mail process.php uh, has generated. Now, it's uh, pretty easy for you, I think, to figure out how to get rid of those notices. So, you can do uh, the Louisa way and suppress notices on this particular page, or you can take other precautions. And you can implement the last um, missing link here. That would be also to check for missing emails. Good. Well, that was actually everything I had for you for today. It was, um, again, a very concentrated yet funny session. I think you learned a lot. You need to think a lot now, uh, now about what you have learned. A lot of new methods. We are going to meet again on uh, Thursday. That would be the back to normal lessons from 8.30 to 14 and uh, on this day we will conclude the PHP programming course. Well I have also to say if you if you understood now really what was going on here between form check, mail process and thanks PHP, if you understood everything, if you understood how this is working then you are doing very very well. I would not expect more from you. Um, this was my learning goal, actually, that you are able now to understand how a complex net of um, conditions, variables, new variables, uh, sessions and uh, different files, uh, how this uh, whole net is constructed and working. And if you understand this, if you recall uh, where you were um, when starting the semester for uh, about three weeks ago, then just relax, clap yourself on your shoulders and say, well done. So this would be um, goodbye for now from here, from a lonesome island in the Southern Danish Sea. I'm going to fix myself a coffee now, probably work on some videos. Meta says, thanks for the lessons. I uh, uh, would like to say self tak to all of you. On Thursday the program would be um, objects and classes. See you on Thursday then. Oh, yes, and I forgot about um, we are going to implement the real mail routine in this script then on Thursday. We are starting making a real mail processing here with the script on a real web server. And uh, then we have the remaining chapter, objects and classes in PHP. You did very, very well. And see you on Thursday. Goodbye. Thank you.